Welcome back, everybody. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, like I said yesterday, hope everybody's uh, had a good week. Looking, f looking forward to the weekend. And we will get started here in just a few, just a minute. All right. Yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. People ready for the weekend, perhaps? Yeah, I'm liking the liking the Dawn Trail MSQ so far. I don't know how far into it I am. No spoilers, uh, please. But uh, otherwise, I'm uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm still sort of waiting to see uh, see where everything goes, um, but otherwise, yeah. So yeah, let's uh, let's get back into it here. We're uh, I think we're supposed to be off to meet the giants. I think is where we're going. I don't know. History keeper. Oh, history's keepers. Okay. It's in the Yofoy village. Okay. Road back ends. Let's go. Uh, back to the path where the mountains begin. Tricked into walking off to... Okay. <laughs> Rub it in my face. <sighs> okay. Oh. Okay, let's get on the motorcycle and go for a drive. Yeah, I've been liking uh, liking it so far. Um, I can, however, like I, I do understand the um, why some people might have like potential criticisms of uh, the story. If, for example, because a lot of it does revolve around the new character Wuklamot, and um, so if I can like I can understand that if you're not the uh you know the biggest fan of that character that um uh the story might you know not quite hit for you um no I'm I'm still sort of like on the fence about it but um I will say that like you know the team has done good jobs in the past, and, like, I'm willing to sort of, you know, like, it, things seem to be developing, right? So I'm willing to, you know, as the kids say, let them cook, um, <laughs> to be, you know, as cringe as possible. Um, but yeah, that and, like, uh, like I've kind of said as well, the, uh, like the set designers and the, um, or like the, uh, the environment designers, I should say, and what, and, uh, you know, creature designs and, and, uh, sound design and stuff like that are, are, uh, as always, I think, top notch. Um, so I think that does help as well. Well, what did we lose this time? Right. Aaronville's nowhere to be seen. Okay. You concerned about? Okay. Oh, he's up ahead. Okay. At ten thousand steps. Well, I hope there's steps accessible by motorcycle, because that's what I'm using. I have no preference. Uh, 
Okay. Sure you've noticed the air grows thin at this elevation. Take it slow until your body adjusts. Deep breaths, drink plenty of water. A few steps, get to something or other's echo. I shall take no steps, and they shall not be slowly. Oh, hello. Give me a second here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna paint you a quick picture. Hold still. Hammer time! Yeah. I will not claim to be a good victim answer, but I love... I, I love the drop hitting people with the cartoon hammer. That is so much fun. Can I... Yeah. Oh, I need another one. Okay, hold on. Yeah, come here, you. Yeah. I wish to come... Yeah. Boop. Oh, hey, I leveled up. Nice. <laughs> Enhanced swift cast. What did that do? Uh, traits reduces swift cast recast timer to 40 seconds, and lots of spells change potency. Okay, I'm not gonna read all those out. Um, Third stage of living, third charge of living muse, in addition, claw motif and ma motif may now be performed after executing living muse. Okay, so there's more uh, things I can do. Okay. Warlar's Echo. Hey, buddy. Um, I'm okay. Oh, okay. We're, uh, okay. We're lag there. All right, nice. Uh, oh, where am I? Oh, there it is. It's a pretty mount. Okay. Phew, I think I'm getting used to the air up here. At least from the Lay of Proof, or pop them at the Yokoi. Oh, they are large and in charge. Okay. That must be them. I don't think I've ever actually seen one outside of pictures. So it is for most Turali. The giants really visit the lowlands. Here in their mountain fastness, uh, they tend to the solemn duty they pledge to undertake uh, in their pact with the Dawn Servant. To watch over the Tural Vidral, Valamar, oh yeah, Valigarmanda, and maintain its prison within their temple. Okay. Yeah, as Wukumat told us about the Tyrell of Tyrell, creatures that live for uh, uh, for far longer than normal and awaken to strange powers. Uh, even among those anomalies, the uh, valley is unraveled in its strength. It has endured for centuries, bringing catastrophe each time it emerges from its lair. Ooh. As you'll learn in the Lay of Ice, it was Ghoul Jaja who last... Uh, managed to imprison. Oh, at last, managed to imprison the beast laid dormant in the temple ever since. That looks like a boss arena up there to me. That's hashtag foreshadowing. Uh, it said the building still bears a giant gaping hole in its center, uh, from where Velma was lured inside by Ghoul Jaja's final ploy. Strongest of all, I wonder what it's like to fight it. Lars Echo was where both the Lay of Proof and the Lay of Ice took place. Does this not suggest we'll be facing two feats this time? Question we can ask the Elector when we find him, or maybe we should flush out uh, Bakul Jaja first so I can beat the Keystone out of him. I think we should uh, do that first, but I don't know. We still four keystone store and so no matter what we do the contest will put us against him sooner or later mm-hmm 
pay a visit to. Carriors are the gracious. Or so their temple is called. The Moblins told me that High Luminary Gerfurler. Well, that's a name. Uh, so we found there. Uh, if we ask around, we're sure to find them. Okay. Oh. Pardon me, give me a moment. I gotta change my uh gotta change my stream title here. I'm lying to people. Okay. Done. Okay. There we go. There. Uh okay, wait. You don't have me looking the right way. There we go. It's the guards to let us through. My third promise, seek the elector for the right of succession. May I speak with granted admittance to the claimants you may enter. Okay. Okay. Cutscenes? Maybe. Oh, hey, it's Try Talk. Welcome. Or Furler. Not here at present. Luminary Zermerwer. Okay. Yeah, that's the Sky Ruin. Tural Vidral, whose name has invoked terror since time immemorial. Even my people, once conquerors of all beneath the sun, were as brittle leaves before its tempestuous powers. Uh, when the Sky Ruin descended upon Rapacha eight decades ago, casualties were staggering. Had Gul Jaja and his companions not intervened, we would have been slaughtered to the last. Ooh. Uh, their titanic battle with Valley raged for ten days and dates. Oof. Uh, uh, as their foe fought on, tireless and relentless, our heroes were pushed beyond the limits of their endurance. Uh, thus did the Head of Reason concoct a desperate plan. Ghoul Jaja tricked the Sky Ruin into losing control of its own ice magic, causing the unwitting Turalvadral to encase itself in frozen ether. Okay. It's been like that ever since. But what happens if the ice ever melts? Okay. She never read it. Okay, great. Thanks. Like, it's a, you know, red flag we didn't need. Uh, the same question looms large in our minds for the magic sustaining this prison grew weaker with each passing year. Ooh, okay. Commands power of fire and lightning and ice. Yeah, okay. Try talk. Um, some believe that the violence of the recent storm was a result of those energies slipping free. The raging tempest from Valley. Okay. Setting future worries aside, you are come to attempt the feat of proof, yes? High Luminary Chosen Elector of the Dawn Servant left me with instructions. Okay. Scour our for uh, forbidding mountains. And find the awaiting Gerfurler. Oh, that is to be your challenge. Search itself is a feat. I've already spoken to my brothers. Uh, their expeditions are underway. Pick up the pace. Uh, but we'll all need a direction to search first. Let's see what hints we can gather from the villagers. 
Yeah, that's that's fair. All right. I'm guessing we'll be back for you, so so uh you know, just just chill out and uh, you know, we'll be back. <laughs> God's valley is enormous. I know Papa uh, had friends with him, but uh, it's incredible he could hold his own against that thing. Uh, should its prison ever fail, though, we can't expect uh, the old guard to come running. It'll be up to us to save the day. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, direct hit vet. Tenacity vet. Crit vet. Spell speed vet. Uh, sure. Alpha no. Need a perfect card to seek him somewhere in the mountains. Your feet indicating, assuming the challenge precludes the Akwai from answering our questions in a straightforward manner. Pay close attention to finding his whereabouts. Giants may not give a precise location, clues hidden among their words. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let the uh, smarter people figure that out then. Um, oh, somebody right here. Hi! Luminary, not seeing him today, and let me ask you a question. That's for all. I came to the temple earlier. Was that really the third promise? She seems unimposing. How is she meant to succeed? Mighty cool. To okay. Thanks. That was, um... Almost a little mean. Um... Okay. Uh, here first, I guess? Maybe? Hi, buddy. Julie, all in no, you're further than that, I think. Luminary, I can only guess where he might be. He is warder of the Skyrim, but also keeper of the sepulchres, and his duty often takes him outside the village. Okay. Alright. So we're going crypt, uh, we're going crypt robbing now? Hi. How are you? Uh, I know not where to find him, uh, but I do hope you have the opportunity to speak together. He is a great man with deep reverence for our traditions. These glyphs we carve, for one, uh, he affords them as much value as any treasure we possess. Uh, records of the li of lives lived. Your arrival too. I will let you into the stone, that the story of our meeting may endure untold sons. If you're curious about our ways, I bid you visit Proof. Uh, to the northwest of here, it's one of our grave sites. Huh. Thinking that's our hint. All right, everybody. Gather up and point me in a better direction. First things first, was anyone able to coax a definite location? But then, uh... Clues and other hints might point us in the right direction. I keep hearing, uh, in addition to his usual duties, also charge keeping the graves. Sepulchers hold significance. Roof, you say that he encouraged you to visit the place yourself. Go ahead and take a look. If, if we don't find him there, it gives us a chance to learn more about the Yahoy. Think I'm saying that right? If I'm not, no. I, you know, I apologize, but somewhere to start northwest of here. Okay, let's go. Uh, you guys get walking, I'll get on the bike. Or I'll walk after you. Uh, 
uh, or her. We're following the trail west. We're moving at our own pace. Uh, get my bearings up here. Why don't you go try catching up to Aaron Vale? Okay. A lot of what is almost like volcanic activity around here. Prater and no wooder trees, not even dry grass, yet the ground yeah, yet the ground still burns. Uh must be one of the scars left by Valley's rampage as told by the saga. Skyrim's fire is described as eternal flames that can be quenched by neither storm nor time. Uh, and here I thought of literal embellishment. And I've lost sight of Wuklamot proofs northwest. Okay. Off we go! Shades of grief. Everything around here is all just so cheery. Oh, there we are. Patient Gravekeeper. Come on, once again. You left before I did. <laughs> Everyone's here now, so. No, I am not. The High Luminary did, however, task me with uh, providing a lesson on sepulchres to those who came in search of him. For all. Oh, are you to tell us who is buried here? No one is buried here in the sense you mean. Uh, when a body has served its purpose, we can sign it to the flames, then scatter its ashes across the peaks. Oh. Okay, I mean... Uh, moreover, we do not conceive of death as others do. For us, a person does not die when their heart ceases to beat, uh, but only when they are no longer born in the hearts of all who know them. Okay? This is why we build our sepulchers before age or mishap uh, claim us. We might etch ourselves into the living chronicle for all eternity. Oh, this grave belonged to a good friend. His mortal vessel ended its journey some years ago, but he lives within me even now. Oh. There stands my own sepulcher. Oh. As long as it exists, so too will I. I will endure in the hearts of those who read my grave cliffs in the same manner my friend does in mine. Oh. Has it always been thus for your people, this concept of existence and death? Uh, continue along this path to inedible passage. Behold the history upon its walls, and you may find the answer to your questions. Oh, okay. Hmm. Sounds good. That is very different, I won't lie. Allowing me to share them, or in doing so, I will remain in your hearts also. Okay. Yeah, it's a really interesting, um, you know, cultural tradition. 
Yeah, also they are just pretty, but... Uh, yeah, it was that. Some sort of... Person is large. Oh, it's Minotaur. Okay. Sorrow. Oh, indelible. I thought it was inedible. I'm like, well, yeah. Like... Well, we met a proof suggested we come here. When did I watch for your arrival as the chronicler of our people? Uh, it has ever been my family's duty to pass on the teachings on the mur murals from generation to generation. Oh, cool. Backstory. Really are magnificent, and together they tell the tale of your people's history. Uh, they are the events which shaped us. I would share them with you ere you continue on your way. Please, if you'd love to hear all about it. Then I'll begin. Uh, depicts a time more than 1100 years ago, an age of great prosperity for the Yahoy. Uh, blessed with size and strength unmatched by other peoples, our ancestors marched forth and brought much of Yuktaral under their dominion. Then, uh, when all before them had been conquered, they turned their gaze northward, seeking to expand their territory and power. Uh, here we see the expedition to Zaktaral. Uh, Unable to cross uh, the strait by ship, our forefathers set to building a bridge to the northern lands, a grand labor which consumed the greater part of a century. Oh. Uh... Zorgor the Boundless. Uh, we still make use of that bridge in Tuliolal for travel. Can't imagine uh, the patience and dedication it took to complete a work of that scale. Yeah. But I've never heard of any Yukhoi living in Zakhtarol. What happened to the ones uh, who went north? On the next mural and behold the answer. Uh, the scene suggests that many giants perished all at once. What manner of enemy could have repelled their invasion? Foe unnamed and unseen when the expedition pushed forth into uh, Zakhtaral. Those thousand, year, uh, thousand years ago, its soldiers were felled by disease. Ooh. Some terrible illness. No, no virulent plague or newly arisen blight for the local... Onawata and Shitona, it was but a mild infection of the sort that comes with the turning of the seasons. What manifested for them as slight fevers and coughs, however, proved deadly to our people. One out of every ten Yokoi who joined the northern campaign, nine succumbed to the infection. Uh, those who survived continued to suffer, finding it difficult to sire offspring. Oh! I've heard about this before. Lacking an inherited resistance visitors uh, to distant lands can fall deathly ill to diseases a local might shrug off uh, these events might also have given rise to the practice of cremation rather than burial mortal remains that's true uh, and this final mural depicts the return of our grieving brethren to Urkapacha the reason they first left why they had fought so long then pushed so far with some sure peace for our homeland. This undertaking began in ancient times when our forebears learned that they shared the continent with peoples unlike to us in appearance or custom. They feared invasion was inevitable. Rather than meekly await their fate, they decided to strike the first blow. Yet as they fought on and on, the old idea of peace drifted further and further away. Only after a disaster in uh, Zakhtarol and their withdrawal to the mountains did they come to understand. Uh, the peace we envisioned had been ours for the taking all along. It was here in the place which birthed us here uh, in the stones upon which we recorded our days here in this tranquil life we had traded for conflict and conquest. When you do nothing but fight, it can blind you to what's right before your eyes. And so we return to the present. I trust you found the brief history lesson enlightening. Yeah, that's 
Good to know. Learn about my fellow Turali. Uh, yeah, how you've lived till now and how you wish to keep living. You're ready to proceed, bids you. Uh, meet him upon the summit of... Zormor. Feeling we ended up scaling the big old mountain. Okay. All the trails south here begin your ascent. Be wary beyond the entryway. The mountain is home to ferocious beasts, both mundane and otherwise. Okay. We getting to another dungeon then? Maybe? Or is it just another area? Nope, we're going to the top of... Okay. Oh. Okay. That is really interesting, though. Okay, so I'm going this way. Oh, yeah, I'm going this way. Excuse you, sir. There's a lot of that eternal fire around, I'm noticing. This thin mountain air is going to be the death of me. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? I was just taking in the scenery, that's all. Come on, we don't want to fall too far behind Alphano and the others. Lint. Oh, that's a... Different type of a bomb, okay. Okay. Like I said, I call did I call it dungeon trial? Well, the chronicler was saying uh that the more they fought, the further away they moved from their idea of peace. It occurs to me that if Zoral Jaw is attempting the feat of proof, then he will have heard uh, have heard that same lesson. I can only hope it made him reconsider his own stance on educating people through war. I don't think so. The High Luminary. Okay. <clears throat> God set us one tall mountain, and we're supposed to climb it? Short legs bring you all the way here from Tuliolo. He's speaking the old Yokhui tongue. The words are difficult to catch. Yup. Though your words are crude and cumbersome, I use them for your benefit. You are a claimant in this right of succession. That's right. Then, if you die, Tuliola loses a potential ruler. Okay. That's a dark thing to say, friend. I get the feeling you don't share the opinions of the other Yokhui we've met. We do not grovel before Gulul Jaja like those shameless lapdogs. My brethren and I are conquerors, and we will restore our people. To their rightful place, Asturas overlords. Oh, okay. That was fast. The giants have their own factions too, it seems. You think your kin weak for showing deference to my father, but they do not follow the man. 
It is his peace they respect, a peace they always wanted, which they realized could be had right here. Justifications for the craven. They turn a case from our ancestors. From the dream we kept alive for a thousand years and more. I don't know who's doing this person's voice, but I feel really bad for uh, their voice box for getting that, like, you know, that amount of gravel in it. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. And our ascension begins with the death of the third promise. Stop! I don't want to fight you. Men die on your knees. Ooh, what are you? Opportunistic vermin. Seek to fist on us, do you? Get down here. Your neck will be the first. I snap this day. Man, at that point, if I'm even half intelligent, it's like, uh-uh, you can't get me? I'm gonna stay right up here. Like... I didn't put much thought into it. My legs were moving before I knew what was happening. I suppose I feared you'd die before we had the chance to get to know each other. Before I could learn more about you. To what end? Oh, that's simple. If we're to share the land, the best way for us to become friends. Mm. How is he? He'll live. Not quite ready to walk under his own strength, however. If you could stay and tend to him, the rest of us will continue on to walk or Zormor. Dungeon 2, I guess? Understood. Be careful up there. This changes nothing. We will not forsake our conquest. <laughs> As you like. You want to kill me, you're welcome to try. But right now, you might want to worry about your comrade. On a mountain of that size, there are bound to be creatures even I've never heard of. I'll trust you to lead the way. Then we climb. The furlough is waiting. Okay. New area, dungeon.
Question mark. Okay. Quest accepted. Okay, yeah, there it is. Regular dungeon added to duty finder. Okay. Uh, okay. Hey, I don't know how long it'll be, uh... How long I'll be waiting, but... Who knows? Yeah, let's just hope this goes as well as the, uh, Dungeon 1 did. Okay, it's just enter, okay. Oh, pardon me. I'm also not sure in this situation which of Alizé or Kryl would be the healer um, in this setup. Because I'm not, like, because Alizé's Red Mage and then Kryl's Picto. Um, or Pictomancer, I should say, and then Wuplamot's obviously the tank, right? Um, so, you know, like I said, I'm not sure, you know, who would be who. Um, but... I'm guessing Kryl would probably be a healer? I'm not 100% sure though. I wouldn't want to, you know, as much as I could claim that, oh, this might be the case or this would be the case or what have you, I, I can't say for sure. So, oh well, no big deal. Okay. All right. All right. I'm taking a little longer, but oh well. Yeah. No rush. I wonder if that's where we came from. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> no more time to wonder. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. It's giving me, um, uh, what is it? Some all vibes, the, uh, or the, the hatchery. I think that's what it's called. Okay. I don't recognize these things, um, so I'm gonna just... That's just... Oops. I need to redraw, like, all my paintings. <laughs> it's 
place is really, really pretty, though. Hammer time! Okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. I think I'm doing okay. What in the... Huh. Well, that's most certainly a thing. Okay, I don't quite understand what I was supposed to do there. Okay, let's paint for a second here. Okay. I'm gonna need to paint a bit. So, give me a second. <sighs> Oh, he dead. Okay. I was like, uh... <laughs> laughing because I'm focusing so hard on killing stuff that I literally don't know why stuff died. Skadoosh! Have time.
probably not how I'm supposed to do this, but... Yeah, I'd rather save my cooldowns if I can. Ah! Ow! This is an added test of your resourcefulness, okay? Ring of casting, yoink! Uh -huh, we're just gonna do that, do that. Uh oh, okay. Necklace of aiming. Let's, yep, pass on that. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. All right. That's probably a mistake. Oh. We are going way up. Chaplets of striking, something of... Oh, okay. It's all the stuff that I've already voted on, okay. Bird! Bird, bird, bird. <laughs> Hammer time. Uh oh. Slice rocks shattered into pieces. Ow! Okay. I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but... Uh... Am I in the right spot? Okay. Okay, where was I? Wait, did I do that right? Oh my god, I did the mechanic right for once. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm stuck. Did I... Oh, okay. No paintings. I am obviously not doing this right. Um, uh, 
up. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm focusing here. Oh, hey. Wait, that wasn't the last boss, though. Bending neck. Hey, whoa. I hope the tank needs gear, because he's eating good. Okay, what have I got here? Monochrome paint. Oh, okay. Hammer time! Hey, nice. Yeah, it feels like we're doing well anyway. Bring a healing. Nice. That's good for healer if they need it. Oh, pardon me. Okay, painted that a little too early. Nice. Uh, what do I have? What loot is here? Uh, oh. Okay. Oh! Oh, we have to fight the Elector. Huh. Okay.
Titan 3, Electric Boogaloo. Okay, uh, give me a second here. Um, earrings and fending. No. Stickle pass. Okay. <laughs> um, put that new ring on. Okay. Prove you are worthy to rule. Howie. Chronicles of a break out the fury of erupting beaks. We'll stay there. I will take the measure of your resolve. Hey. Implacable strength of the mountain. Be mine. Okay. Okay, I need to paint. I got another charge of this too. Wow, I am uh Hey, almost there. Nice. Oh hey, nice. I think I gained a level. Awesome. This was fun.
also I uh, not to be that not to be that person or whatever, but I like the fact that all, a lot of the mechanics were like very accurately like it was it was uh, not to be like easy, but. Um, it was, uh, very apparent that, uh, you know, like, what was going on, right? Pass. And I'm just gonna pass on those. Okay. Alright, nice. That was super fun. Um, but yeah, I like the fun, the fact that the final boss's mechanics were all, like, not simple, but, like, they were... It was easy to read them. You know what I mean? Like, it was easy to figure out what you were supposed to do. And now, they may have all been quote-unquote easy mechanics, but... <clears throat> Very good, Claimant. Once more, I name myself Gur Fulur, High Luminary to my people, and chosen Elector of the Dawn Servant. Okay. You are much bigger than the others in the village. Okay. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Uh -huh. Only your queen were once my equal in size. But ever since we were decimated by disease, it is rare to see a child reach our former stature. Oh. You speak of the contagion which afflicted the Shak Tural expedition. The one recorded in your murals. It is a chapter of our history that is entangled with the legend of the Golden City. Oh, is it in, is it on the north side of the bridge? I've heard that legend originated with the Yokhui. Is this true? Yokhui, yes, okay. With the visions our ancestors had, to be precise. Okay. Preceding the campaign into Shak Tural, many were visited by dreams of glittering splendor. They described a paradise that knew neither war nor famine, where people lived lives of eternal happiness. Oh, okay. A single dreamer might have been dismissed, but when dozens, if not hundreds, spoke the same. Ooh. The luminaries became convinced it was divine revelation. Oh. <gasps> then the expedition. Its purpose was to find the city of gold. Yes. Help was marshaled from all the territories under our control. Lands were scoured on a massive scale. Oh. Ah, little wonder the legend is so similar across Tural. Those involved with the search would have passed the stories down to their children. <laughs> Another claimant, I see. I will test your worth as I have tested those who came before you. Dang. Here and now, I think he means. Oh. Okay, nice.
I'm also noticing, however, I haven't seen uh, Bakul Jaja, the uh, the two head one. Three to go. How glorious it would have been to race thee and thine to the summit. Though mayhap not whilst being hounded by Bakul Jaja and his minions. Again, that swine shows his disdain for the right. Strangely, despite his eagerness to antagonize us, he withdrew as soon as we fought back in earnest. I cannot fathom what he was trying to achieve. On a similar note, I'm also curious as to why you chose the peak of Warcore Zormor for the conclusion of this feat. The earlier stages saw us learn the history of the Yokui. Does this location also hold some special meaning for your people? Yes. It is a place of great significance. Oh, that's a lot of... All these monuments. Is this a burial ground? Every high luminary before me is enshrined in this earth. Alongside them are the heroes who bravely stood their ground when Vali Armanda brought ruin to Urkopacha eight decades past. Oh! Mm, that explains why there are so many. Sorolja. I should have known you'd arrive here first. <sighs> ah, third promise. How relieved I am to find you in good health. Sarelcha, you bastard! I should end you here and now! Remember where you are. You will mind your conduct, or you will leave. Right. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Got told. I see no reason to delay further. Show me my father's sepulchre. Papa has a grave? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, they mentioned that um, you know one of the one of the people down there or down down the mountain mentioned that. Um... Upon this monument yeah. are inscribed the names of those who sealed away the monstrous Valley Garbanda, your fathers included. Gulul Chaja. Master of Resolve and Reason. Champion of Peace. Look at this one. Ketanram. Navigator of Uncharted Oceans. Ketanram? The Lamincent Explorer? Does this mean he joined Galul Jaja on his travels? Okay. Kafkiwa. Seeker of the Unknown. How strange to see your name here. It was unheard of to build leaving sepulchers for those who were not Yokui. But their great deed demanded recognition. Master of resolve and reason? Champion of peace? Papa really did some amazing things. Yeah. He carved his path with martial skill. Yet it was clever thinking which allowed him to trap Valigarmanda within its own ice magics. Martial skill and clever thinking. Hmm. I can't compete with Zorolja's mastery of the Head of Resolve's techniques. And when it comes to knowledge, Kona's the one who most takes after the Head of Reason. Is there anything that I've gotten from Papa?
I'm gonna let her figure it out. <laughs> what else defines him? Oh, of course. Papa's love for peace, for his people. That is what he's given me. And I'm fighting to preserve the peaceful Tural he built. Okay, what was that? What in the hells was that? Kind of sounded like a dragon. You must return to Warlar's Echo immediately. Valigarmanda has broken free. Oh, well, that was fast. Okay. <laughs> I presume that was about the unholy sound. Valigarmanda is free. Apparently. To get back there now. Oh, how fortuitous. We have been gifted an opportunity to outpace our rivals. Hmm. So he just, yeah, that's it. He just moving on then yeah nice I made level I made 60 I made uh 95 in uh, in the dungeon that's pretty cool that's awesome uh let's paint oh burn me hey and by the time I arrive to investigate a sudden surge in ether, uh, there were already fallen giants everywhere. Right now, everyone's preoccupied treating the wounded. Pray catch your breath and lend a hand where you can. Ooh, die. Uh, those are only worth 500 bucks a piece. Um, don't give up my restricted dies, dang it. Oh, I skipped something. Um, oh, I can do the, uh, the duties and trusts. Okay. Many injured. Find anyone. Okay. Speak with the injured. Your promise is protector. Everything was bathed in, bathed in bright red. A searing heat enveloped my entire body. I couldn't move. Okay. Everything burns. Uh, the touch of cloth is agony, yet I, yet I will live. Leave me. There are others in more dire need of help. Ooh, that's some nasty burns there. Yeah. New Age Try Talk doesn't screw around. Okay. Noted. Hey, buddy. Uh, my wounds are nothing serious, but this dryness in my throat, uh, it's as if all the moisture has left my body. Okay, that's also pretty, uh, pretty scary, too. This way... Destination cat. Hey, are we... Fighting this thing now? Like, 
literally, but I thought. But uh, done all I can for now. The injured you found were awake and alert. Then, yeah. Also, I'm not a healer, so okay. So um, I'm gonna leave helping them to someone who can heal. Comfortable as we could. Uh, many were suffering from burns to a greater or lesser degree. Did a fire sweep through the village? Details are unclear. Once I'd heard, uh, healed the giant attacked by that mountain bird uh, group's leader, poor, poor, I believe, called bade me depart. Uh, it was then that I felt an intense wave of ether and returned to find the, the uh, place in this state. First giant I saw looked delirious in pain. He repeated the same warning. Valley had broken free. This I contact you in all haste. Gonna need more information that before we can deal with the situation. Go to the temple guard, see what's going on. Yeah. That and, you know, super intense flames. Oh, I should check. Uh... Oh, I got a new. Uh... Okay. Oh, I got a pretty new dress. Yeah, screw it. Leave it on. Grant you entry, waits you within. Okay. I mean... Is our bird friend gone? What happened? Well, I mean... Okay, yeah, bird friend gone. <laughs> Oh no, don't tell me it was for cool Jaja. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> Alright, I still have the echo. Who enters this hollowed hall? Ah, a claimant. Here we have the mighty Valigarmata. A terrifying vitral. With every awakening, it has sealed its ruinous name into the memories of a new generation. <laughs> what a good little terror. Stayed napping right up until the day I needed you. Explain yourself. Ooh, it is as they say. Kulul Jaja caused its magic to run rampant, trapping it in a frozen prison of its own creation. Clever. To unmake it, it would be quite tricky. Two spells must be cast at the exact same moment. A conflagration intense enough to melt the ice, and awakening flame to rekindle the slumbering Vitral's soul. The only ones capable of such harmonious execution would be the heads of reason and resolve. And the blessed siblings. Bakul. Cha -cha. Oh, you stupid idiot. You mustn't. But I already have. Rise and rage, little terror. Well, there goes the neighborhood. I 
over than the fire of Abid. Utter madness. Why have you done this? For the throne, of course. You unleash calamity for your own gain? Have you any idea how many may die? Wreak havoc, Valigarmanda. Live up to your legend. Yep, he's an idiot. <laughs> and or asshole. Take your pick. <sighs> A messenger to Tuli Yolol has been dispatched. The Landsguard will send a contingent, I am sure. But there is no telling when they will arrive. Idiot! This monstrous act is a step too far, even for him! So, what's the plan? If we leave the withdrawal to others, it will be a massacre. Some might call it the wiser choice, if I don't want to fall behind the competition. But I could never live with myself. And my supporters deserve a better ruler. So that's that. I will stay and fight Vali Yarmanda. This is an enemy so powerful that even my father failed to slay it. Alone, I don't stand a chance. I understand you've no obligation to aid me outside the right of succession. But for the sake of Urkopacha and its people, I beg you, join me in this battle. Okay, now we're getting trial one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Drawn to the chaos. You're as bad as Papa. Don't worry. The Sky Ruin should prove a big enough challenge for all of us. Far be it from us to abandon a dear comrade in her time of need. Dear comrades, now, eh? <laughs> I have to say, it does have a comforting ring to it. Knowing someone has your back makes it easier to do what you have to do. Uh -huh. And what will we do? That is a good question. One committed to winning the contest above all else would race on ahead. Okay, um... If you resolve to slay Vali Karmanta, we'll need to find out where the beast went. That's... fair. That's <laughs> what we have you for, old friend. Oh, yeah. I wonder where this thing lives. Does it live around here, or...? Pardon me. Okay. 
Any ideas how we can track it? Try and true method of comparing sightings with other signs of passage is most reliable, but it's also the most time consuming. There is a second option, not as reliable, but if we're lucky, let us ascertain whereabouts far more quickly. Though a Terrell Vidral of extraordinary nature is still a creature of this world, like you and me, it is thus sustained by corporeal energy and possesses unique ethereal balance, which means this device should come in handy. Oh. And we have a... What the? What in the? I didn't get a Microsoft pointer. What? <laughs> what game am I playing? What the? Floating hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a toy. It's an ether seeker. As the name suggests, cleaners use it to detect the ether of living beings. Had this in your pack this whole time? I can calibrate it to follow a specific ethereal aspect. The problem with your Manda, however, is that it can shift freely between the elements of fire, lightning, or... or fire, ice, or lightning. Uh, in order to awaken Veligarmander from its icy prison, cast a spell which quickened its fire-aspected ether in the residence uh, here we're uniformly afflicted by burns, including the breaking free and least great fiery blast. Choice is plain fire. The seeker, however, uh, is not without its faults. So if we're not able to input our quarry's unique ethereal signature in advance, we'll respond to any living source of fire aspected ether. Reliably yet slow method of informed gathering versus the potential swift but easy to mislead cleaner tool. Say, why not pursue both, both methods at the same time? Fall back on the first and second fails. Travel with me then, Zephyra, in case the seeker leads me to some fiery fiend. Just grab a sword, my guy. I believe in you. Uh, the rest of us can stay behind and talk to eyewitnesses. Guy runes to compare if any objections. Okay, help seriously injured. Well, I'm glad you guys want to do that, because uh, I can't help with that. Right. I'm still trying to process how I deal with the uh, the floating Microsoft hand here. We should be on our way as well. I mean, you're not walking the way it's pointing, though. Like, it's pointing that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I got stuff pointed. At least says fight to fire. Okay, I didn't mean to click on that. That guy, the thing is funny as heck. Uh, into the outskirts and seek to fire aspect, dude. Okay. Away we go. Off on the motorcycle. I wish for flying thunder chicken for supper. Can depart will accompany you, leading you onwards, follow it without falling behind. Cut. Follow the Aether Seeker. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I have a weird feeling it's going to point me at that. Uh, Or not? Okay. Source of fire aspected located tracking disengaged. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I have this weird feeling it's going to point me at this uh, legendary creature we were after. Dealing with the fire sprite. Okay. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Hammer time!
Okay, let's try this again. Nope, oh, okay. Uh, so now we're gonna find ourselves a flint, probably. Um, or another fire sprite. Um. Oh, new location, though. Or, uh, I'm not sure what else we could find, but... Oh, there it is. Uh, okay. We'll guess some sort of fire slug. Or... Oh, it's a magma. One of those, like, magma things. Okay, there we go. Yep. Called it. <laughs> That's mm, close. <laughs> close, but no cigar. Frightening enough, but again, now uh, we're looking for... Yep. Okay, that's, yeah, close, but no cigar, eh? Excuse me, sir. I'd like to have a word with you about your car's extended warranty. I'm sorry, Molten Fobad? All right, third time's a charm. Let's point to something useful this time. Okay. Let's go back to the road at least. I'm still, like, I still can't get over the fact that I'm basically, like, following around the Microsoft hand. Oh, hey, look, another molten whatever. Or not. They're located tracking disengaged. Oh, interesting. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. I like my yeah, Val's last rampage, crater flame. <clears throat> Words of the Tuliolol Saga, when Valley uh, rages out of control, its fire burns forever, its ice does not thaw, and its lightning crackles without cease. Uh, thus was the Dawn Servant able to turn Skyrim's perpetual magic against itself, trapping it within an unmelting prison of ice. This is no mundane fire, but some kind of everlasting sorcery. Once again, it's a strange feeling to see fanciful poetry proven true. The important thing is that the fire was classified as living ether. We can feed a sample to the seeker to greatly improve its accuracy one moment. Oh, okay. Oh, well, then we found, you know, then if I, then uh, Microsoft Clippy finally pointed to something useful. Oh. Should ignore Etheric Signature's butt valleys had I recognized possibility from the start you would need to fought the creatures that's yeah don't worry about it buddy i have three inventory slots remaining D let's not worry about that right now <laughs> let's focus on anything else uh sample of theory of signature detected engaging accelerated pursuit mode uh-oh Oh, it's because I got rid of, I pulled all those things out of my, uh, um, pulled out of the, all those things out of my inventory, but I never did anything with them. Okay. Uh, can I get there this way?
Uh, there's this weird big uh, crocodile things over there. We're gonna just ignore those. Okay, well. Drawn directly to the Sunfire or Sky Ruins fire. Correct parameters for its threshold for their concentration. Let's direct us to the drill the drill itself. Uh, where am I going? Okay. Oh, back to uh, the passage. Okay. Pardon me, buddy. I'm just gonna drive through, uh, drive through the village again. Yeah, I'm gonna lightly drive by this minotaur here. Morning, sir. Okay. Can we notice if it's in the passage? Let's head through to the other side. Okay. It's riveting, I know. Oh, it's really pretty here. Here, it seems. Uh oh. Could Valikar Manta have shifted its elemental aspect? It does have three to choose from, after all. In any case, I'm almost certain the vitral was headed in the direction of Warcor Lardor. I'm gonna believe you on that. We should let the others know we have a likely location. Alphano is assisting the Yokhoi with their evacuation. He thought they could use a healing hand with the injured. Yeah. So where is Varigarmanda? Warkor Lardor. Its stratified layers contain a wealth of crystals, said to be the source of its many-colored glow. After 80 years of imprisonment, the Vitral will be in dire need of sustenance. It would have been drawn to the mountain's energies. Oh, cool. So Valley Garmanda seeks to replenish its ether. Then we'd better not give it the chance. Stop! That mountain is sacred ground. I forbid you to set foot on it. Sorry, we... It is not our intention to trespass. But you must understand, that's where Valiyarmanda has gone. If we don't slay it now, it will slaughter countless innocents. Just like in the old days, I beg you, permit us to enter. Out of the question. Your band is incapable of defeating Valikarmanda. Either you seek to defile Warkor Larador, or you are fools. Again, I'm gonna say it. Uh, whoever does this voice, I am like, I am so sorry. That is, that has to be. Awful. 
If you doubt their chances, how would you feel were we to join them? Oh. The monument to Valigarmanda's defeat bears the names of seven heroes. With our forces combined, we also number seven. Seven weaklings are no less doomed than four. Damn! Zorocha, you've come to help as well. Against my sound advice. While the rest of you were tussling with this sky ruin, we might have secured an insurmountable lead. A minor delay. It will not change the contest's outcome. I would take the measure of his Tural withdrawal my father was unable to kill. With both my brothers here, this battle is all but won. Your celebration is premature. I never said I would let you pass. Brother, no! We do not bear arms against our own people! What an odd thing to say. As I recall, the inhabitants of Chirwagur Saltern do not consider themselves members of the Tuliolal nation. I'd hardly call them our own people. What does that matter? Members or not, everyone in Tural is part of our dream for peace. If you would hurt them, then you'll have to go through me. She... She saved me... from the mountain bird. Now... Then... The same eyes. Eyes of stone. Words of stone. I'm gonna pretend like I know what that means. We are still in her debt. This is true. Consider the debt repaid. Okay. Uh, do not misunderstand. We do not submit to Tuliolan rule. Nice to meet you too, buddy. Aye, you've made your point. We can talk more once the contest is over. I ask your name. I ask if you want a throat lozenge. Protector of peace and soon to be done servant. Even people with wildly different ideals can find understanding through earnest discussion. I believe that wholeheartedly. Oh, burn me. As do I. I won't give up until we reach a compromise. Uh, assuming you survive, my old bones and I will be waiting here for the true heir's return. Old bones. <laughs> Your thoughts have always been a mystery to me, brother. But I'm relieved to see you put aside the contest for the sake of the greater good. Our nation is a fortress, and its people the bricks with which it is built. The more that are lost or broken, the weaker Tuli Yolol becomes. Okay. <laughs> Even the crudest rock has value as a stepping stone. Wow.
Come on, you two. Forget about the right of succession for now and help me fight this overgrown snake bird. <laughs> help me fight this overgrown snake bird. I don't care how strong the sky ruin may be. We're going to put this menace down for good. Okay, I, I have a weird feeling that now we're we're getting to, uh, um, or we're closing in on trial one. I, I have this, uh, I think, or okay, not closing in with. We just like walk into it. All right. Uh, during this quest, when using duty support, to need to take the trial with an NPC, set of NPCs. Okay, allies' roles will differ. Okay. Uh. Yeah, this thing. Okay. Because, yeah, let's see. I'm guessing that... Uh-huh. So yeah, Thankard and Wuklamot tank. Um, Zoljaw's melee DPS. Um, Kona's obviously probably mechanist. Um, and then Rianje heals. And then it's either Alize or Kryle swaps to heal her as well, I guess. For, for like for myself anyway. Um, and then yeah, I'm curious, I guess, then, um, if I was tank, one of Wuklamot or Thankrid probably switches to melee DPS at that point. Or, uh, well, DPS, I guess, and it would be me the melee variety, but, um, yeah, otherwise, um, technically, I guess, if I was healer, everything would kind of work out, like, job-wise as they're supposed to, but, I mean, I don't, uh, so, uh, comment, say what you will about, uh, like, the, the sort of state of healing or whatever. Um, I, it is, I can't do it. I, you know, it's, uh, it's too much going on for me. So, I, I just sort of go, you know what, like, I'm, I'm more than happy to let someone else do it. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I'm not going to pretend that, you know, I'm, uh, I'm any good at the role. Uh, I, like, I don't know if this says more about myself or, um, the, uh, the job, but, uh, I, I got Sage. Um, I, like, I unlocked Sage back in, um, Endwalker, and, uh, the, the mission you're supposed to do where you're, like, healing the, uh, the NPC or whatever, um, I literally failed the mission, and it went like, hey, do you want this mission to be easier? And I kind of looked down at my, like, stuff and whatever and went, I don't, I don't think I want this to be easier. Like, I just realized, like, I just don't know how to make, you know, uh, to use sort of, like, the, the vehicle analogy, like, looking at it going, I don't know how to make the vehicle go. Like, you know, I can't, I can't make it do the thing, right? And I was like, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think this is helpful or healthy that, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, basically, like, I don't, I don't think I should drive this, drive this bus, because I think, uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna let it crash and burn, right? So, <laughs> ah, well, no worries. Hmm. Okay. Oh. 
a page. There we go. Yeah. Maybe time to think about a new controller. Oh. Okay. I've missed these before. And I mean ones that are like standing right next to me, so let's just go get that. Like I said about uh about Endwalker and uh Tell, I think even Shadowbringers. I don't know if uh um, well, actually, I can just look. Um, uh, yeah, I don't have all the ones for, uh, Stormblood. Um, I don't have all the ones for, um, uh, for Shadowbringers. And, uh, the Endwalker, I definitely don't have all of them. And you know what? I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh. I'm uh, I'm just not super concerned about it. Oh, apparently I got all almost all of them in uh, Azama, but oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I hate to tell everybody this, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. 660, okay. So the Dungeon Gear 93, okay, so I'm actually a little ahead of where uh, where I should be level-wise, okay. I mean, I'm not concerned about it, but... Okay. Ugh. People, people around gathering. Yeah, again, it's a really pretty area, though. <clears throat> Pardon me. It's amazing how just going through, uh, like going through a mountain like that, makes so much of a change in the uh, the terrain and vegetation. Yep. Wonder how uh wonder how bad this is gonna be. Well, I guess we're gonna find out right away. Oh okay. I swear I'm not psychic. I am, I'm really bad at it, considering how terrible I am at predicting things in this game. <laughs> okay. All right, Thunder Chicken, let's do this. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Um.
Okay, I have a concussion. Um, and I can't move. Okay. Okay, I don't like that at all. Like, game, you gotta fucking, like, you know... Some of these things need to have more than, like... Oh, okay, never mind. Um... <laughs> more than, like, part of a second of, of uh, like, display here, game. Um... Uh, okay. Uh... Okay. So, do I stay up here? What's... what's... Uh, okay. Um... Maybe? Uh, okay. Someone's a- what the hell is- what in the sweet hell is this? Uh, okay, well, I am- oh, okay. Um... Okay. I don't feel like I was ready for this. Um, okay. Okay, never mind. Um, I guess I wasn't supposed to stand in that. Is that a tank thing? Um, okay. Um,. Oh god, what the hell is going on? Um... Yeah, I feel like I'm doing really poorly here. Um... I won't, uh... Rumbling... Oh, what the sweet hell is this? Um... Freezing up. Oh my, what the hell? Oh. Oh god. Oh god, we- uh, there are a lot of us dead. Um...
Okay, what in the sweet hell is that? Oh, good God. Good lord, where am I supposed to go here? Okay, nope. Oh god! Hey, how do you figure out where to go for this? Oh god, okay. Oh, I'm still okay. Well, I had two I had two uh um Volnups, so that's yeah. Okay, ow okay. <laughs> I got res just to die. <laughs> oh that was good. <laughs> I literally ate an AoE the instant I got back up. Uh, ah. Nope, I'm just gonna do that. Um. Okay, I don't even, like, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Like... Oh god! Okay, never mind. Um Oh my god. What is <laughs> I don't understand what half of these mechanics are. They are not clearly marked. Okay, well... Nice! I mean, we got there. <laughs> I, uh, I won't lie, um... A lot of what's going on is way too quick to be able to, like, react to, so I... I'm not super happy with that fight. Like, I wouldn't want to redo it. Uh... Oh! Okay, everybody's already gone. Okay. Okay. Oh, won't claim to be good at the game, but... Yeah, like, that fight especially, like... It's... Like, a lot of what goes on... 
it, it's just far too fast to react to and isn't really clearly indicated as to when, like, where stuff is going to happen. So it, like, I'm, I'm really not super happy with that fight. Um, A feat that even the great Gulur Chacha couldn't manage. You, Papa. There's no denying it was an impressive achievement, but I wouldn't be so quick to claim we've outdone Father. If Idral was weakened by decades of imprisonment, had we faced it in its prime, we wouldn't have fared a fraction as well. How can you say that? Eighty years couldn't have made that much of a difference, could it? <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Papa's still the best. Yeah, take the dub where you can, like. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Even if it wasn't at full strength, we defeated a living legend. I swear, I'll surpass the old man one day. The sky ruin lies dead. And still, I've yet to prove myself the miracle. I suppose we should head back and join Erinville. I we did leave him with only Sarelja for company. Oh, so is it that uh, that Sarelja feels like you know he's got a huge weight to carry because he's like a miracle child? Surprise, came back earlier, left almost immediately, seemed uh, disinclined to share any victory celebrations. It's not unusual. Spakul Jajaf concerns me. He's probably far ahead now, making the most of the mayhem he caused. Still can't believe he did something so evil just to slow us down. If we hadn't slain uh, Valley, it wasn't uh, only or Pacha at risk. Deaths across the continent. Now more certain than ever than Bakul Jaja can't be allowed to rule. I have to catch up to him and take back my keystone. Okay. Feet of ice. If I must be anxious, wondering where and when Valley will strike next. I think we suggest back. Yeah. Okay, where are we going? Okay. Oh, are we gonna get that uh, uh, the feet of ice done now because of the fact that we killed Valley Garmonda? Uh, yeah, before I go anywhere else too, I should remember to uh, repair my gear. Okay. Yep. To the temple, then. That won't be necessary, heroes of the hour. Oh. Okay, I didn't realize before. Yeah, you are huge, sir. No more. Yours is a victory worthy of song. Yeah, damn. Mm, we had plans for a second feat to be conducted here in town. But the recklessness of your fellow claimant has rendered them pointless. Mm. A second feat? The feat of ice. 
You were to fortify Valig Armando's prison. Hmm. How shall we proceed, High Luminary? What more would we test, Zulmurwar? They have defeated the Sky Ruin and saved the gods know how many lives. If they are not worthy heirs to Kulul Jarjar, then no one is. Ooh. <laughs> Now that our last claimant has arrived, we can proceed with the formalities. For the skill and bravery the three of you have shown, I award you each a second keystone. Ah, the one of ice. Nice. That makes five. Only two left to collect. Except that one of those five is in Bakul Jaja's thieving hands. He will answer for that. And for losing Vali Armanda. You have brought lasting tranquility to our home. And earned the gratitude of every Yokui. May glory and prosperity continue to bless Tuliolol as we enter this new age. Off he goes. was never much of a talker, our brother. If you're up for it, you should visit the capital. I'd like everyone to get to know you and your people better. Ha. I'll consider it if it's one of you two who claims the throne. Then you need only await a missive from Sunperch. I'll be sending out invitations. Oh. <laughs> Today is a day for unusual visitors. You woke your mat, was it not? Hey, gravel voice. I doubted you could slay Valikar Manda, but the quiet skies proclaim your triumph. Had the betrayal been suffered to roam free, it would have terrorized us all. Once again, we find ourselves in your debt i'm sorry sir you need to throw a lozenge <laughs> you owe us nothing we fought because we wanted to yet a debt has been incurred all the same it will haunt me if i do not repay it hmm i wouldn't even know what to ask for Perhaps he can tell us about the dreams of the Golden City. Oh, good idea! That was on my list of questions I wanted to ask. The Golden Dreams. Yes, we have records of our forebears and their visions from the time before the Shaktural expedition. Act. Okay. What did your forebears see? A 
heavenly land, suffused with a golden glow. Its people lived as gods, never aging, never dying, free from a hardship and conflict. Every building was a palace, and in their midst reigned a silent goddess, a statue so tall even my kin would need lift their gaze to behold its visage. Okay, so some sort of giant statue. A statue <laughs> of a goddess. That's new. Aye, and compared to the abstract imagery we've previously heard, this was a detailed description. The dreamers were consumed by their visions, compelled to seek out the paradise they'd been shown. They journeyed to Shaktural, where they died in droves. Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The tales Wook Evu shared may have been rooted in historical fact. Yeah. Perhaps. Who can know the truth of it? Once our ancestors left the forest, there were no more dreams. No dreamers. Left the forest? The forest? What do you mean? From the very first, the visions were set to visit only those who worked the quarries in Yaktel But after they were ravaged by disease and saw fewer newborns, they were forced to abandon that territory. Oh, well, that's interesting. So is it something there? Once our people's withdrawal to Urko Pacha was complete, we never again dreamed of the Golden City. So only Yokhui in that one specific area experienced the visions. Fascinating. Well... We're headed to Yaktel next. Maybe we'll find out more when we get there. Yeah, okay, that's convenient. Thank you for sharing your stories with us. I do not require <laughs> gratitude. No, you need a throat lozenge. Farewell, Wook Lamat. I do not think our paths will cross again okay yeah nice guy all right Flores brethren a sudden change of heart doesn't mean they'll change all proof than that. Okay. Quest complete. Promise of peace. Turn to Tuliolal. After scaling Tural's tallest mountains and battling a legendary uh, beast to the death, even Dauntless heroes like you could probably use a rest. Preparations have been made so we can visit the next destination laid out in the saga. Uh, the respite would be most welcome. Gerard Cavins calling her name. <laughs> oh, they wave goodbye. Okay, I was like, what's going on? Uh, okay. Ok, 
Okay, that hurt. Um... Uh, more money into the Charlie Intuition funds. There we are. Meet back here later, okay. We're in the city, I'll leave you to recover. Heading to the palace. Lamont, did you hear me? Our own little world, it seems. No matter, I'll be back soon enough. The cabin, enjoy your stay, okay. First one. Yeah, good. Come back. Kevin, just a few left it. I don't think I've ever been in it. This is a beautiful landscape, but oh. Have a moment. Hi. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. No, I'm not lending you money. Um. <laughs> so I. Uh... Okay, um, out with it. Did you lose your axe? Like, what's... It's just too stuffy in here, that's what. Alright, good talk. We should go outside. Aye. A nice walk in the fresh air. That's what we need. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I don't get it. All right. So much for relaxing. Okay. Nice, comfortable cabin. The walls closing in. Favorite places until you all get your head in order, go to the resplendent quarter or something, something, okay. Okay. I mean, I can teleport there. I'm... Okay. I am curious where all this is going. Uh. Uh, so, there we go. Cool. Is your back feeling better? So I can't be lounging in bed all day when you're out fighting hardest on the throne. You claim it with the greatest love for peace. Okay. Nation of ours and lending you my support is the least I can do. Okay. I like that. How could I not be encouraged? Uh, there's plenty more who believe in your cause. I can recruit all the battalion of smiling faces if you think it'll help. Alone is more than enough, thank you. Okay. Okay. So why are we...
Okay. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. It's uh, the progress we've made with the contest. Even these everyday encounters feel that much more special. Okay. Wander around a bit first and we can hit to the spot I was thinking of. Okay. Okay. I now have a patrol mission, I guess. Like, what's... I'm not, I'm not sure where we're going. Oh. Okay. It's morning now? It's a pretty sunrise. At least I have the sunglasses for it. This is much better. Okay. I used to come here all the time when I was little. I'd look out over the whole city. And whatever worries I had would seem so small. Okay. Do you remember what I said at the top of Work or Zormor? That I would fight to preserve Papa's peaceful Tural? Uh -huh. Well, I've been thinking a lot since then. Okay. About what peace really means. If it's just the absence of war. And it brought to mind all the best parts of our journey so far. Okay, I, I'm not... I, I don't know if I'm quite following, but I'm gonna, you know, see where this goes first and try and decide after that. Like, I, I don't know. I realized nothing gives me greater joy than the happiness of others. Okay. Life has its ups and downs, but the company of family and friends and the music of their laughter is what makes it worth living. And as silly as it might sound, I've come to believe that those smiling faces are the best measure of peace. Almost. With eternal life and no struggle or conflict? It's certainly an ideal worth striving for. Who knows if we could make such a world a reality? But renouncing war and conquest seems like a good place to start. So, this is my plan. When I become Dawn Servant, I'll build on Papa's peace. Our people will live together in happiness. Okay. It's just like Kryl said. What? By taking the time to hear their concerns, understand their feelings, and consider how best to serve, with each passing day, I'll be that much closer to becoming the leader I want to be. Oh, okay. That that makes more sense. <laughs> Saying, wait, what are we talking about? Say how much I've changed since the contest began. But there's one thing I can say with confidence. I wouldn't have come this far without you as allies. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for you all listening and feeling and thinking along with me, I would have never learned so much, and in so short a time. There are two keystones left. After everything that's happened, and imagining what could happen, are you still willing to walk this path with me? Nah, I'm out. <laughs> oh, okay, didn't even give me the choice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank the gods for that. <laughs> nah, I'm out. Teleport. <laughs> I have nothing else to get off my chest. I need to head to the palace, but I'll see you back at the cabins. All right, good talk, I guess. This bed is way too large for me. That's really funny. <laughs> also, my horns are sticking into the pillow. Oh, it's nighttime now. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Guess we're rested up and ready to go. Oh yeah, I gotta... Give me a... Give me a minute. I gotta... Solve some inventory problems here. <laughs> yeah. Let's go buy a couple more, uh... Yeah, let's go buy three more things and then have the game really yell at me when I fill up my inventory. And I can really trigger, uh, you know, trigger some people in chat with the, uh, you know, 100% inventory usage. <laughs> Quality sleep. Peaceful intentions. Okay, I probably use this one. Dark mahogany. <laughs> right. It's be along shortly. Hopefully everybody's well rested. Yeah, I hope so. Force ourselves to consider all the oh. Claimants as they currently stand. Completed every feat thus far and the sold five keystones apiece. We'll come out. Uh, would be equal with them, but the cool to just Avery, which has left us one short. Conniving Braggart didn't so much as lift a finger uh, for the feat of proof and wreaked havoc for the feat of ice. He can't have more than three keystones at most. Uh, he may be thinking he can sink, uh, simply steal what he needs to win. He's sorely mistaken. I will be taking back what's mine. Fear that reclaiming your keystone may not be enough. That is, if Bakul Jaja unleashing of Valamangar isn't indication, using his lead, I anticipate that he will move to obtain the remaining keystones before disrupting his rival's attempts. It may all find ourselves for us to take from one another. Can't say I'd be comfortable with that. Neither will I surrender my claim to the throne so easily if it's for sake of preserving happiness. Do what I must. Uh, last two keystones you require are those lay of repast and the lay of the brotherhood. Former depicts a cessation of hostilities between the Mamulja and the Zabral. The Zabral? I don't know how to say that. The Forest of Yachtel. Okay. Where I was born. I haven't been back there since Papa took me in when I was a baby. Brotherhood takes place, however, it is unclear in the saga that a foreign explorer came seeking an audience with the Dawn Servant, but a little more than that. Eorzea has a similar tale. The explorer room befriended the two-headed king, uh, known as the Autarch, before commencing his travels across Tyrell. He journeyed here several times afterwards, but was ultimately lost at sea. At least it's common held belief. Two-headed king certainly sounds like Papa, so Karen Fellow must come to Tuliolol. He indeed arrived some 80 years ago. The capital may not have been built yet, vestiges of Yokoi architecture notwithstanding. 
say Autarch, didn't you? Was Smith the Dawn Servant in Mamuk? Mamuk, is that a city? Uh, one of the grandest in Tural, once upon a time. And the seat of the Mamuljo's homeland, it too lies in Yachtel, not far from Brax. Okay, and all things considered, it seems the obvious show, yeah. Seems like everything's coming to Millhouse. Right, one of Kona's balloons can't be any worse than ships, can they? Give it a minute. Okay, before I run off and do that, I'm gonna uh, go find a vendor to uh, eat a bunch of stuff off of. Okay, um... Oh, I should have teleported. Oh well. Doing it now. Okay... Uh, Jimstone Trader. Hmm. God, I may need another retainer. Uh, sort of drop items. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's it. slots do you have left? Um... Oh, good lord. Okay. Okay, never mind. Okay, I have done the... Well, once I find an actual vendor, I have done the proverbial equivalent of, you know, shoving all of my mess under the carpet. Sir, I have a bunch of old stuff that I no longer want. Hey, look at that. I got like... Yeah, jeez. What are you talking about, chat? Like, I got like almost 30 inventory slots available. Come on. Just relax. <laughs> uh, I've only... Um, I've only got two retainers filled up, and, you know... And most of my inventory, and my, uh... You know, and my armory, or sorry, my, uh... uh my Chocobo saddlebags are basically full, and my, uh... My armory's almost full, just don't worry about it. You know, it'll be, it'll all work out. Dirigible attendant. Next flight. Okay, thank you.
No going back once we lift off. I'm nervous or anything? I'm just I'm sure you're not nervous. Oh my god. Like Sundari much? My knees won't even stop shaking. Would you hold my hand just so I settle my nerves? Ooh. <laughs> Maybe ask Aaron Beal. <laughs> Stick in the mud, he'd never let me live it down. Third promise, wait just a moment. Oh. What's going on? Oh, we were just able to discover the origin of Kryle's earring. Oh. Okay. Gained popularity in Yuktaral as a protective ward of travelers. Uh, track down the elderly merchant whom, uh, whom first sales are attributed. Oh? According to him, the design imitates an accessory worn by a foreign mage he met at market some 20 years ago. Little did he know that charming taste of salt uh, would prove uh, would prove to be a commercial triumph. That charming taste of salt. I'm not familiar with the term. Foreign mage wearing this earring could maybe grandfather. Did the merchant happen to mention which market? One in Yachtel, where you're already going. Okay. My clue, next clue when I arrive is a mere coincidence. Brought my grandfather there. Another discovery to look forward to. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Anything for the third promise? Good luck with the rest. Last call for passengers? Yeah, okay. It's basically like, hey, come on guys, I got a schedule to keep. Let's go. Really hope she wins. We'll test her metal without a doubt. Next on, sir, must be willing to bear the full weight of this nation's history, no matter how heavy it may be. Ooh. Wonder if something bad happened. Oh, this is pretty. The fierce chaparral hunters who laid claim to this land call it the Azure Forest. Yachtel. Yeah, it's pretty. Battered by meteors in ancient times and colored mesmerizing shades of blue and green by nature. It is easy to understand why the place is so named. Reminds me of the shroud almost. It is here where the Chebral and Mamulja once battled for dominance, that the right of succession would reach its climax. Oh, okay. I didn't think that was going to happen so quick, but okay. Oh, okay. Apparently, yep, that vehicle too. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> yeah. I've never been good with heights. Don't like heights, don't like the boats. Is far denser than in Cozumelka. Yeah. I suggest you pay more attention to the ground, unless you want to walk straight into a cenote. A what? A cenote. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Sinkholes filled with rain and groundwater. Ah. Many meteors fell here long ago, it is said, and after they struck the earth, it became susceptible to erosion. Deep as some of the pits are, you'll not climb out in a hurry should you take a tumble. Hooray. So, don't take a tumble. It was one time. Is the Shabral community depicted in the Lay of Repars close by? 
Hi. We need but follow the path a short way west. Okay. Right. I can't stand here with my knees knocking forever. Let's get going. Okay. Where's my weapon at? Your vegetation comes to reduce visibility. Keep your sight. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Let me paint. Uh, okay, one way. Okay. On the bicycle. Okay, that was uh, very close to the road there, sir. It was also close to the road. I think it's chasing someone. Necrosis? <laughs> Everyone accounted for. Brax is up ahead. Going or to climb out of. Ooh, okay, that's okay. That's a big hole. Hey, no, where is it? Um, burn me. Actually, it's not that much better than what I'm wearing. Ready to head in? Yeah, let's go for it. Find the elector. Hopefully, our relative tardiness not reflect poorly on us. Hello again. My retinue, I presume. Oh, okay. Zoom right. Join us in the Garden of Stars at the village center. Everyone's waiting for you. Okay. Yeah, I love that. Everyone? Who might that be? Find out. Let's, yeah. Like, did they force everyone else to wait? Huh. Okay, never mind. I was gonna... Okay. Wait, let's... Huh. At last, we are graced by the presence of the third promise. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd known we'd be waiting on your mangy hide, I wouldn't have bothered with Ligarmanda in the first place. You self-serving piece of weaver dung! Do you have any idea how many could have been hurt? <clears throat> now that we are assembled, let us begin. My name is Hun Muruk. As the Brash Rash, I have the honor of serving as elector on behalf of my people. As all four claimants must be present for this feat, we have eagerly awaited your arrival. Third promise, if you would please join us. Have fun. I'm... 
I'm confused about what's about to happen. Thus far, you have faced each other as rivals. The feet of repast, however, will test your cooperation. You must complete this challenge in teams of two. Oh, oh. What? You expect us to work with one of these weaklings? Be warned. Only the triumphant team will receive keystones. I advise you to cooperate with your partner. Uh uh. This is going to be teams bad. Will be decided by lots. Those who draw the same color will be paired accordingly. Uh. So are we getting the two-headed idiot? Twell forbid Wuklamat is paired with Bakul Jaja. <laughs> After all he's put her through. I wouldn't blame her if she did something rash. I might even help. Okay, she called it. Clements, please present your colors. I have red. Blue. False. On separate teams, then. And the rest? Red, which means. Oh, hey. There again, as fate would have it. Uh oh. <laughs> Victories as good as ours. With our claimants thus paired, so too is their opposition. <sighs> Not the one here. Listen well, for the trial that awaits you is as follows. Each team is to prepare a sample of traditional Chebrol cuisine. Shebrook Bibil. I'm sorry, what? And now we must cook another ludicrous feat. So it might seem. But there's bound to be deeper meaning to it. Agreed. Given that the very future of our nation is at stake, all parts of this rite must have significance. Our promises have grown rather promising, wouldn't you say? Indeed. If I were to guess at the significance of the feat, Few things reflect the history and development of a culture so clearly as its culinary traditions. Well. The variety of stewed dishes in Galian cuisine bespeaks their agricultural roots and cold climes, true. The peoples we've met on our journey, they've all had different practices involving food and drink. The Hanuhanu replenish their magical energies with reeds, while the Pelu Pelu have turned their fondness of beverages into a living. Right. Okay. So basically, to know a people's cuisine is to know something of their ways. With each feat, we have deepened our familiarity with a given community's history and culture. Is this what Father intended for us all along? A leader with his vision must see that the past doesn't hold the answers we need. It is through embracing innovation, not adhering to tradition, that we will usher Tuli Yolal onto a more prosperous future. Uh oh, there he goes. The rules are simple. The first team to prepare and partake of satisfactory Shibruk Bivir will be deemed victorious. You will be judged by your sample's taste and appearance, as well as your adherence to appropriate cooking techniques. Kitchens have been made available for your use. Note that you may be asked to retry should your dish fail to 
pass muster. Uh oh. <laughs> Let the feet of the past begin. Guys, we uh, we we uh, we just hit Iron Chef Eorzea. I've never actually heard of Shibrook Pibio before. It's a light, no wonder. Okay. <laughs> I can uh, honestly say I didn't see that one coming. Uh, for Fikini stipulations, so frustrated but cool JoJo's attempts to delay us. Serves him right. That's what he gets for endangering my people with his schemes. Well, our people. Just compete fairly, he's plenty strong and obviously has a mind for strategy, twisted as though it may be. I've never, I'll never understand him. Competition for the moment, allow me to express how glad I am for this opportunity to work together. As I see it, our team possesses a distinct advantage. Any team I want is found to succeed. Ah, that's not it. <laughs> Precisely. Wait, what? Advantage in numbers, yes. Competition is a team of six, two claimants. Sariel John, Bakul Judges, Lackeys, whereas we have a team of nine. It's more, three more people we can mobilize. Suitably delegated, it should be brisk affair to learn the recipe and assemble the necessary ingredients. We must be overconfident lest we make care make a careless mistake that could be easily avoided. Order business should be determining the recipe for Rick Pavil, then we can gather necessary ingredients. Given the nature of the feat, uh, asking for answers directly may prove less effective than simply observing the daily habits. Gather here once we have clues. Okay. Okay, what do I have? 60, okay, then I'm not going to worry about uh, opening that one. Okay, where am I? What am I looking for here? Places. I'm entirely unfamiliar to you, okay. Add a bit of color to our most popular cuisine. It has medicinal benefits that are significant as well, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, can I go in? No. Uh, also, no. Okay. Can I go in here? No. Uh, okay. Um, this is a very wide area with nothing in it. Um, hello. The recipe, which I could tell you, my friend, so delicious, it's meant to be shared. Forbidden from divulging anything. Okay. Fierce craving. I only hope there's still a brook to be had at the market. Okay, it's something to be shared. Buy some. Bit from the market. Oh. Cut our losses and head to Mamuk. Feet has nothing but a fool's errand. Well, if you think he won't tan our hides for leather, if we dare to, without enough uh, keystones. Besides, we've taken 
uh, from the house cat before how difficult can it be a second time? What are you looking at, salt liquor? Mind your own business. Okay. No, oh, uh, I don't think I've used this. No, I haven't. Okay. Okay. Barracks hide. Wait, aren't they barracks? Hold on. Wait. Is this not like... Like, one of their hides? Like, what? <laughs> what are they selling me? Great banana peel. Why is that a colored banana peeled arranged on the ground which appears to be smoking? It's gone and dropped a najul. I mean, a banana peel. I can barely see the steam from my underground oven. There's nothing like enjoying a tasty banana. Well, you use the leaves in your cooking. Wait, underground ovens? What in the... Okay, whatever. I'm hoping they're not expecting me to have remembered whatever all that was. I can just, like, you know, yak it at them. Alright, let's see how badly this goes. Predictions were forbidden from educating us, or directly, however, uh, many were still preparing it as, uh, as one might a staple dish, and observation of their technique yielded clues enough. Local herbs and spices only too happy to describe. Uh, the ones I didn't recognize will neither confirming nor denying any relation to Pupiril. Okay. In particular, she attributed to the common. She called it. This, as ubiquitous as Alphano claims, confirmed our first ingredient. To observe a cook burying bundles wrapped in the leaves of the jewel, certain local. You subterranean ovens, it's commonplace. I saw the same. I think we all know what's inside those bundles then, don't you? Wishy flesh of a bipedal fish. Expected of a dish called... Jack Pibril. Okay. I don't know what Ibrug is, or whatever, the how you ever pronounce that combination of spices, steamed underground, or banana leaves, okay. Assumptions are correct, we must now learn where and how to procure our ingredients. Well, cuisine, its ingredients will be close at hand, which is why Thankard and I scouted the surrounding forest while you were exploring the village. Wild something or other, okay. Make divvy up our tasks, gather some ingredients, okay. I can help prepare the kitchen. Uh, permit me to assist as well. Uh, our ovens will doubtlessly require firewood, and I have some experience in its gathering. Oh, buddy. <laughs> gather ingredients, make quick work of spices and herbs. Lead someone suitable to the abric, perform their priority, okay. Capable of acquiring as much on my own. Uh, you won't find a jewel in these parts, they only grow in the... 
Batika Heartland Forest far below. Scourging is time consuming. Try to bartering first. Bridges our communication with the locals after all. You're accompanying me on the errand? Yeah, sure, why not? What's the worst that happens? Yeah, I said it. Okay, let's uh I think we'll push on to uh till we finish Iron Chef here perhaps and then uh, I think I might call it for today here. Let's get the banana leaves. Where we can eat, okay. To no one's surprise. The history of violence. The jewel leaves are in town. Cook mentioned could be hard to spare a few. Uh. Hey. Do you need something? I wish for more wishes. For a purpose other than Pivil, naturally. Unfortunately, I just used up my last to travel to the lower forest for more. Omajik Grove is the source of the finest leaves. Uh, wild variants. Sometimes you see in the markets can't compare. To avoid such a lengthy venture, but if there's no other way to obtain ingredients, then that's where we go. Let me just save you the trip. Oh. Traveling there requires that you go through the Tienbeck Traverse, but it is caved in due to the recent storm, I suspect. What? Means we can't get our new leaves, but we can, can't we? If there were no other way of procuring them, you would have suspended this feat, or else altered its objective. Perhaps. Apologize for the interruption, but having overheard your conversation, I felt compelled to chime in. <clears throat> Last minute advice you're willing to share. Only to undertake the feet of a past with an empty stomach, you may find a delicious but daunting dish to finish. Can't wait. Um There's no leaves around here, we can't try and we can't travel for more. How are we supposed to gather our ingredients? So they're meant to deepen our understanding of the people and cultures. There's something about we have yet to learn. Something of significance other than its recipe or ingredients. Who was the first to make it? It's history, that sort of thing. Yeah, tells history you're interested in. You should start with the Old War. Oh. I mean, this is raw in the Mamul jaw. Okay, well, it's getting awkward. Or a support witness to centuries of warfare. Uh, the evidence of which remains scar uh, which remains a scar upon the earth. To know the end of that bloodshed is to know Pivil, okay. Huh? What does steam to brick have to do with the, the bloodshed? Precisely the question we must answer. Vexing as such a detour may seem. I can think of no other way to approach this feat. Uh, is it the site of a settlement ruined by the war? Village of uh, Ilion Aso, short distance to the east, okay. Understood, thank you for your help. Well, on, let's go, okay. Huh. Okay, it's becoming a little more involved than I thought, but... You know, let's, let's give him a minute. Oh, okay, hold on. I nearly jumped into a chasm, I think. I 
Night Stalkers. Night Stalker's Shadow. Well, that's not cryptic at all. Okay. Village must be further east. Continue with haste. Competitors on our heels. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Oh, okay. There's just a giant hole next to the road. Got it. Okay. Sorry, buddy. No time for squ no time for chipmunks. Raccoons or whatever you guys are. What in the? I have no idea what you are, but fun with that. Okay. Well, this place is certainly still ruined. It's a village or what's left of it. Wukavu. Oh, hey, buddy. It was a place of life and... Oh, light and life. My great-grandfather called it home, in fact. Hello again. Didn't know you were in Yachtel. Picking up lumber. Heard third promise was on her way to a site of deep sort of significance. Saw another opportunity to be of service. So followed you here. Okay, it was a shipwright who came to our aid during the Feet of Reeds. Pleasure, a member of the Third Promise's retinue, I presume. For the moment, I suppose. My name's Kona. Nice to make your acquaintance. That's a good name, a familiar name. Where have I heard? Here it comes. This is the second promise. Just the done servant son. So come and disrespect. Okay, not this again. Take no offense, please don't dwell on it. Okay. At least he's consistent. Send so wish to learn about Pibril. Well, I'm forbidden. Don't divulge any information regarding its preparation. Be happy to share what you know of Terrell's history, okay? Most basic sense of conflict between the Mulja was one of land. Uh, the Mamulja live in, live in the lower forest, uh, where the thick canopy obscures the sun and, so and the soil is unforgiving to crops. This drove uh, them to covet the upper forest, the home of the, the Braxel, and they launched a determined campaign to seize it for themselves. Yet advantage ever favors higher ground. That's see, Anakin? Uh, and the... Uh, as Braxel forces held the upper hand against the invaders, rebuffing them time and again. Uh, I would have stated this village would attest the tide eventually turned. What brought about what brought it about? You all to know, blessed siblings. You must understand the Mamulja uh, were once a people as much at war with themselves as they were with others. Oh, the Hobingo, bon, uh, Bonewan, the Poro, each sought to assert dominance over the others, even as they engaged the Braxel in battle in an effort to strengthen bonds and discourage infighting. Uh, Hobingo and Bonewa leaders arranged a marriage between their children. However, this political marriage uh, measure altered the course of history in ways no one could have ever imagined. It was long believed that partners of differing clans could not have children together. Then it happened, a children, uh, you know, a child arrived who shared the blood of the uh, Hobigo and Bonewa, both a two-headed Mamulja. Blessed with tremendous physical strength and magical prowess, he grew into a mighty warrior before eventually rising as the first Autarch, ruler of all three clans. His qualities would dispose anyone of leader, anyone to leadership, character notwithstanding. Under the Autarch's rule, an early united Mamulja became a force to be feared, and the war soon came to a head. 
I think it's best you see the result firsthand. Let's visit another battlefield from that time, and I'll continue the tale. Okay. Ooh. Pardon me. Zuma Hara- Ooh. Well, this is, uh, ugh. Wait, why hasn't this grown back, though? Like, I mean, I know it's all dead wood and stuff like that, but... This is where most battles were fought between the Shabral and Mamulja, the Shobrit Cinderfield. Okay. A field of cinders, indeed. How fierce their clashes must have been. The war over these lands began after the Yorkwee's departure some 500 years ago. And for four centuries thereafter, the two enemies repaid violence with violence. A constant stream of minor skirmishes punctuated by massive slaughter. Until father ended their endless conflict 80 years ago. Accompanied by a retinue of only six, the Dawn Servant opposed both armies and brought the fighting to a standstill. Well, wow. first they sealed Bali Armanda at full strength, and now this. It was during this armistice that both sides gathered for negotiations at the Dawn Servant's behest. Nope. Flashback! For too long, you have been bound by your ancestors' violent legacy. It is past time you broke free of it. Tell that to the scales, come! We fight to protect what is rightfully ours. If not for their greed, we'd be living in peace. Buff your tails and scurry off, then. Cowards like you ill deserve the bounty of this forest. Even should one of you succeed in vanquishing the other, your triumph will last only until a new invader arrives. Yep. Tell me, do you know of the vast continent that lies far to the east, where numerous nations vie for dominance? You do not. And why should you? Affairs beyond the salt we have no intention to cross are of no consequence to us. Not until those affairs come to Tural, like our honor visitor here. He's from across the ocean. I've been to the ocean before, and it's nothing but water farther than the eye can see. What sort of vessel could possibly reach its end? That such technology exists is indisputable, as is foreign power's awareness of Tural. If any such country were to develop a taste for Turali soil and bring to bear the might of innovations we can only imagine, what do you suppose happens then? Yep. You do not know the warlords of the East, but you know that if they came, they would not settle for a single forest. By joining hands, 
We might create a unified front. An alliance capable of repelling them or any other foe. That's there fair. Is no greater proof of these than my companions and I. Alone we are weak, but together we triumphed over Valigarmanda. What? You defeated the Sky Ruin? I'd take you for a liar if this thing of our own defeat wasn't still fresh. Their coordination was indeed impressive. How the Pelu Pelu stymied our efforts to cripple the Yokui's legs and defend our ballistas. And when we withdrew to strike again from a distance, the Hanu Hanu called the winds to make our arrows miss their marks. In seeking to exploit their weaknesses, we only subjected ourselves to their strengths. Those strengths are born of cooperation. The guiding principle of the nation we envision. But our feud has lasted for centuries. How do you expect us to join hands now? Ha <laughs> ha! It was an evening to convince you. Uh-oh. I feel like there should be a giggity attached to that. <laughs> okay, but who was that, though? And so began that legendary banquet. One would not expect sworn enemies to abruptly drink to each other's health. And, indeed, a tense silence hung over the venue. But then, the dawn servant called for the exchange of traditional cuisine. So it was that the mamulja partook of spiced meat, and the chevral steamed najul. Before long, delight manifested upon the faces of those present, each side impressed by the other's dish. Seeing this, the dawn servant laughed and declared once more. Their flavors, he said, would be even better combined, and he proceeded to help them prepare the new creation. Oh, okay. Interesting. She broke the bill, I'd wager. <laughs> it is a marriage of Chabral and Mamulja cultures, and proof of their newfound cooperation. The dawn servant had asked for a single evening, but the feasting is said to have lasted three days and three nights. So delicious was their repast. In the end, a peace accord was reached, and the Dawn Servant's words at that time still illuminate our way forward. Ignorance begets a strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Wow, yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> He is smart. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just to think that he ended an age old conflict with food. It's all so absurd. Yet somehow, so very papa, I couldn't help but laugh. Ignorance begets strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Now then, I trust you understand the significance of Shibruk Pibil and the history it has written. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing the story with us. Okay. It doesn't tell us where we're getting the banana leaves, though. What's wrong?
someone was there, you say? Perhaps our competition is cooking up some scheme or another. <sighs> Something bitter and half-baked, no doubt. All this food talk is making me hungry. Okay, which one was that? Um, legs. Yeah, let's pop the uh, pop the legs here. Let's put those on. And it's a present. Gonna give us valuable insight. However, we are still no closer to carrying the necessary into jewel leaves, unless me. Was that historic feast commemorated in some fashion with a monument, for instance? Indeed it was, let me show you. Okay. Yeah, the creature designers for this game really keep killing it. Oh, an axe and a sword. Offered up by the two factions, these weapons symbolize their vow that they would never again raise arms against each other. He demanded... Oh, demands a journey through history. I thought it only logical. The monument... Uh, that a monument like this might steer us true, especially when at the heart of such a significant a battlefield. Help me search the area for clues. Tell me if anything catches your eye. Okay. Here, the soil's been recently overturned. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so, uh, don't make me search, game. <laughs> Someone buried a box. Well, well, I would have been satisfied with only a hint, but here they are, fresh leaves. Doing, I'd wager, there's poetry and hiding them on this battlefield. The Central War help end. Yeah. Planned all this from the start, probably. Thanks for your help, Wokevu. We wouldn't have found these leaves without your help. Honor to render assistance. With apologies to present company, allow me to offer my encouragement as well. I promise ever since I witnessed your performance in the feet of Reeves, I'm certain that you are are the claimant most worthy of leading our nation. All devised solutions to the Hanu Hanu's ailing crops. Uh, but you alone sought to know their culture and revive I Hana, even if it seemed unrelated to your task. Humble opinion, no one cares more for the people of uh, Tuliola they hold dear. Ooh. Uh, should you again require the historic musings of an old shipwright I'm ever in your service. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna sting, uh, sting old Kona there. Um, yeah, I can't argue with that. We have what we need. Let's return. Cut. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, you're not gonna like that. But, yeah, we're just gonna make this faster. I will pay the toll. Uh, wrong way. Uh, uh this way, yes. I know where I'm going, I'm a professional chat. Hey. So I'm famished. Okay. Mm. 
Unless, of course, they've all been waylaid by... Okay, never mind. Elias, will Gabu came along to help us find them. Gabu was here, I would have liked to say hello. Important history lesson. Plot dump! Okay, let's do the Iron Chef thing. <clears throat> Uh, the ghoul Jaja brought an end to centuries of warfare surprises me a little, but to achieve said peace through cuisine is something else entirely. Leave it to my old man to find the odd, the oddest of solutions, but how the rest of you? Everything should be in order. Any utensils we need. No mention of what we needed them for, of course. At least a report that we are stocked with the finest firewood this forest has on offer. It's probably like a true expert founder of bricks. We should have meat of plenty. It was a spirited creature so much. Uh, uh, so much so that it is. Oh, that its hunter fell down a ceno cenote trying to catch it. Ooh. A part of never speak of this to anyone. Did you not understand? Ah. <laughs> uh. Portion of the local herbs, particular attention to the seeds that yielded. Oh, the yield. Okay. Told our resident astrologian uh, to find the appropriate measurements for the seasoning as well. Through further inquiry, did I determine the ideal balance of spices? Okay. Oh. All that remains is to prepare the dish itself. One of among us is versed in culinary arts. I really profane my profound skill, but I have cooked myself. Leave the rest to me. Good! Don't look at me! You, I hope I could use an adventurer's grit. Oh, okay. Come to skinning the whatever, okay. I'm sitting here going, please don't make me cook. Like... <laughs> uh, let's get cooking. Or I get hungrier. Go. Oh. oh, pardon me. Oh, it smells so good. Good. There is still time. I shall prepare our sample at once. At first, I wasn't sure about being stuck with the one head. But better that than playing nanny to the mewling house cat. <laughs> Be quiet, Bakul Jaja. No one cares what you think. Huh. Act up all you like. Victory will be ours. It's ready. Apologies for the wait. We submit to you our Shibrook Pibil. <gasps> this looks amazing! The dish is prepared by using the culinary techniques of the Mamulja to cook the spiced meats favored by the Jabral. It is a symbol of peace between their two peoples after centuries of war. Hmm. Both the ingredients and your methods appear to have been correct. Now then.
can taste texture and aroma. You have recreated Shebrook Bibil. Admirably. <laughs> Look on his face. I, was, I wasn't sure if that's what he was going to say. <laughs> Granted, anyone might well achieve similar results by following the recipe to the letter. But you went a step further. You sought to learn the cultural significance of the dish, about Yoctel's history of violence and your father's role in ending it. Your willingness to take lessons from the past befits aspiring dawn servants. And for that, I commend you. All that remains is to partake of your creation. True understanding is gained only through experience. Uh oh. Now this is something I'm definitely good at. Ahem. I believe we have yet to receive our assessment. Ours is also a faithful example of Shibruk Pibil, as you will no doubt agree. I see. While your effort looks the part, unlike the second and third promises dish, it lacks its defining aroma. P -p Preposterous! The meat was marinated in spice before being steamed in an earthen oven. This is Shibruk Pibil. Oh. And what about the Jatika banana leaf? I, I... It's because of you that we couldn't get any damn leaves! You can't fault us! But the second and third promises had no such difficulty, did they? That which they needed, they acquired simply by showing interest in our history and heritage. Duh, it's just some crusty old leaf. What difference could it make? Your dish lacks an essential ingredient. As you have failed to demonstrate an adequate understanding of Shibruk Pibil, I must deem your performance unsatisfactory. Your team will not receive keystones. <sighs> this was stupid anyway. Oh, that glare. His ambition only grows more intense. That someone could harbor such dark thoughts towards family. What do I care for this sham of a feat? I can always take what I need later. This is delicious! <laughs> Not even paying the attention. So tender it melts in your mouth, and the way the Najul leaf rounds out these spices is sublime. This is the taste of harmony. Someone who only knows brute force and deception could never appreciate it. Choke on your harmony. Come, come. Finish your meal. That too is part of the feat. You don't have to tell me twice. was palatable enough 
I suppose. <laughs> to you, who have successfully performed the feat of repast, I present these keystones. Only one feet left. Yep. So we have to like find the city of gold, well, isn't it? I should get going then. I'm glad that I uh, wasn't paired with one of the others. We can do better than that, surely. <laughs> yeah. I still, yeah, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna break the Anchorage's knees. Thanks for all your help, everyone. <gasps> I forgot something important. Um, was there any shiplock people left? I could really use another helping. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize we were traveling with Goku. Like, jeez. <laughs> Bottomless stomach. <laughs> All right. Now oh, we got Iron Chef out of the way. All right. What's a tabletop thing? Oh, okay. I will never use this. I do not have nearly enough money for a house. New wares are now available from Merchants and Brax. Okay. Father's Grief. Ooh. Um, well think however this is gonna be a good place to leave it for tonight all right I want to thank everybody so much for watching and yeah we'll be uh, uh, back next Thursday um, I may not be playing this necessarily I'll definitely be playing it uh, on Friday for sure um, I might play, uh, some more, uh, Verrug Lake of some sort to, uh, get some videos recorded. But, uh, anyways, I hope, uh, you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. And, uh, if you have, consider, you know, consider subscribing. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribing, dropping a like, it does really help out a lot. Um, anyways, regardless, uh, you all have yourself a good weekend. And, uh, I will catch you all later. <clears throat> all right. Have a good night, everybody.